Okay, so a wrinkle in time. Let me take my hat off. We just watched the movie. I did not cut my hair. Got a little hairstyle done. Yeah, man, we, we just watched the movie. Um, spoilers in this video or no? Nah? It doesn't matter. Like, all right, we're, it's, it's not much to spoil. All anyway. right, no, no, no spoilers. Well, it'll have mild spoilers, so I mean, it's not like boom, this happened yeah, yeah, and yeah. this happened. But, um, what did you think? I mean, oh, by the way, internet power is still out. Phone review. So let's, uh, what did you think about the movie? Amanda? Okay. Do you see my face? That's how I feel about the movie. Like, I went, okay, I was so, when I saw the trailers for this movie, I was so excited about the movie because, like, the graphics, you know, looked great. And, like, I just thought that an amazing story was going to be told. And then when the movie started, it just started bad. And I was just like, and then from there on, from the beginning to the end, it was just so confusing. Like, nothing made sense. And I was telling my brother earlier, I felt like I had to use my physics class and and apply it to this movie to help me understand what was going on. And even then, I still didn't understand what happened. Yeah. Like, I'm still waiting for this, this Wrinkle in Time movie. It did not come out yet. I'm waiting. That was just another trailer. <laughs> I'm probably being harsh, but that's... I'm still waiting. Very really harsh. <laughs> it's true. Very no, harsh. No, honestly. I, I, you come have... on, come on. There was there, no, the movie wait, was no. there. Ma it was minor issues that made the overall movie feel bad. Matthew. Okay, you you, you talk and I'll say my thing. The important part of a movie is the story. Everything else should fall in line, like the graphics, the music, and the acting, the costumes. Everything else yeah, should fall in line. Watch the car. What you? What you? <laughs> With your, with your sassy hands and he knocked the camera down. Every, look, oh, you, you see? You, you see? That, you no, that. I'm not even editing any of this. Oh. I, I can't even edit this stuff. Anyway, what yeah. You <laughs> I got you right. I can't, no, it's you, man. I did not touch it. Oh. You did this. You just, just leave it. Leave it. Leave it, leave it. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. Yeah. Like, I'm not even trying to be harsh. I'm just telling you how I felt because what was I saying? Story is important. Yeah, the story is important because. At the ending of the day, if everything else sucks, your story should be great. Like, I should be able... I mean, yeah, I took a few minor, like, moral life story. Like, you know, it's not going to apply to my life and be like, yeah, that's real. But, like, I, I just didn't understand what was going on. I, don't f I didn't feel like there was any proper character development so we can properly feel anything for the characters. Like, the relationship between the main char character and Chris Pine, like, like it was forced on us that, oh my god, this father and daughter had the best relationship ever. He was teaching her everything that, you know, he knows, and he went missing trying to shake hands with the universe, right? And, um, yeah, and she's on this quest to find him. Also, why is this a monologue? I was waiting for you to say your part, so I can also, go ahead and talk. Also, I felt like the misses, like Reese Witherspoon, Oprah, and Minda, Minda, what, what's her name? Mindy, it's Mindy Callen. I know, I've seen her before, she's and I've from, her she's name. from the Mindy Project. No, I don't know, I don't know her That's the that. only thing she's mainly known for. Yeah, and like, I felt like, um, they were purposeless. <laughs> Seriously, like, you got Oprah in a movie, and she was doing that? Like, come on now. Okay, all right. Let me say. Let me say my piece. Let me say my piece. From okay, this, this is all I gotta say about Wrinkle in Time. I I understood what was happening or what was trying to happen, and I understood what they were trying to do, and I understood uh, the concept of what was trying to happen. Um, positives for me is obviously visually, this movie was a visual masterpiece. Like. I had no issues. I mean, a lot. The majority of the movie was green screen, CGI, all that stuff. We know that, but I didn't have a main issue with the visuals and the CGI. To me, I enjoyed it. I thought it was done well. It, it looked good. It was a good-looking film, and I felt like I was immersed in this world. The issue was they did not use the world properly, and they did not. I was immersed in the world visually, but I wasn't immersed in the world with the story. I didn't feel like I. I felt like I was there visually, but I didn't feel like I was there. And like, okay, for instance, look at Wakanda. Look at Wakanda, how Ryan Coogler did it. When I was in Wakanda, I felt like I was in Wakanda. Mm -hmm. They took you around Wakanda. You saw a lot of things. You saw a lot of the culture and a lot of people. A little so bit of de development. Development too. I'm talking about like just, just, 
just the 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 location. I felt like I was in Wakanda. This movie, I didn't feel like I was in the. I didn't feel like I was in the world with the story. Visually, yeah, I was there. Um, here's what happened: The Wrinkle in Time was off the very shaky, very messy start. It was trying to find its foot in the ground. I knew that's exactly where they messed up. They messed up from the time this movie started. From the time this movie started, they messed up big time with the story. They messed up with the characters. Yeah, they had a little promising thing that could have been escalated to something better with Chris Pine and Mag. Okay, her uh, with Mag. That could have been something more than what we got. But right after that scene, they just dropped it. They had a yeah. very creepy and very rude principal. Yeah. Oh. Very... Oh, yeah. And I'm like, what the heck is this? Who? I'm like, the principal, okay, first of all, you're well, a principal of the school. Why are you speaking to children like that? You're supposed to be yeah. offering them hope and giving them like, oh my, okay, don't worry, you know, I understand I your father. I guess because like, the whole thing with the it, with the it, that's what, that, that's what they were trying to portray. Yeah. Maybe that's just what it was. That it was just but it wasn't despair. clear. It wasn't that clear. But at that's first. what I'm trying to say. Like people who read the book would understand little signs and little Easter eggs that they have made in this movie. But for me, somebody who like me, I'm about to read the book afterwards, and I bet you I'm going to be real mad if I read to read the book afterwards because I bet you there's so much more information. It's like... Are you trying to fuck this up? It's no, because the fan, the fan's going to be blown on, on, on the back. But yeah, um, I felt as if... It, it, we're going to end soon. I, I felt as if the movie, just like, okay, the book had... So, uh, obviously, it's, it's hard to take a lot of stuff from the book and put it in the movie, right? We know that. But the thing with this was... You have a movie, A Wrinkle in Time. It's a, it's a movie about... It's a physics movie. It is a sci-fi movie. It's science-based, heavily science-based. And... I didn't even get that. It's heavily science-based? No, You're talking about no, the world I'm and... No, I'm saying... I, I know... Oh, I know oh you that. didn't get it as I'm you didn't get that. Okay, I got you. I got you. I, I, if, it was, if it's about that, I felt... Especially with Mag... We were like we expected to know that she's smart. Exactly. And I really wanted to see her use her smartness. Exactly. The only part we really saw her use her smartness was the part where she looked through the thing and then she figured out the thing and, and then when the slingshot thing when she was going over the wall. But like one thing I do commend them for was not giving let letting these two little adolescent kids make out at the end. I'm glad they yeah, didn't do that. Yeah. I'm glad they kept it you know, realistic. Yeah. Because I wasn't making out with no girl. Call me lame, but I wasn't making out with no girl when I was like 13, 12 years old. Nowadays, I, we got kids. All right, nowadays, a whole other thing. But me, me personally, I wasn't doing that. I, I just felt it was more respectful, especially since that they just met each other. I feel like he's more... That's he's the more, type of stuff yeah. that young people need to see that you can like somebody without being getting, very getting sexual. Getting involved sexual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, he yeah. gives her very good compliments without being yeah, like was oh very, baby you look he was hot. very respectful he's a good he's oh, a good oh, example you look this. of a respectful like, young man but anyways but, but, <laughs> but, you know back to the, the long story short for me because we're running out of camera time is this man wrinkle in time had like i said had a great concept visually looked good at the end of the day the story fell very flat mm -hmm. characters could have been done better um, the whole relationship between the only thing one one i could say is a child actor who played yeah he's Wallace. probably the best part he of the was movie. great his acting and his performance—he went from was zero spot on. to like a man. Yo, this thousand. man got to visit the bishop. I wanted to before. smack him. <laughs> <laughs> this dude was just making jokes. I, in the no, honestly, I was just making jokes the whole time. At that point, he's just making jokes. No, no. You see what? Okay, I'm at a nose. This when I'm if I'm in a movie, I'm just making jokes about everything. That's how you know I'm over it. Me, honestly, that's how you know I'm over it. I was it. over it because yes. I started to took off my shoes because my whole body started to get to get agitated and I wanted to just go home like. I just, it's like I felt disappointed because the movie looks so good and I just wanted a good yeah, story. Yeah, I wanted a good story. Plus, I've done for Look, man, you I'm got. I'm trying to support the black yeah, people. Yeah, I'm trying like, to support my black women oh my out God. here, bro. And like, come on, bro. Like, Ryan Coogler just did his thing. Like, yeah. come on, he's bro. Like, on both sides. He's supposed to be winning, yeah. bro. Let the males win, let the yeah. females win too, man. Damn. Like, True. International Women's Day just passed yeah. like two days, man. Tell me about it. Like, come on, yeah. Ava. Ava! Come on, girl. Ava! No, dude, you let me you let my heart fall, girl. <laughs> you let my heart fall, Ava. If I dry, dry. If I dry, plop to the ground, man. Break an earthquake, man. Plop. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> nah, anyway, man. Yeah, no, for real. I mean, now, come on, man. The screen, the screenplay guy need to be fired. What's the writer, what's the, the script. And the, the writer, script? yeah, the oh, writer used to be was, fired. You know what also bothered me too? Come I, on, I don't know if it's maybe my hearing, but I couldn't really understand what they were saying. No, no, the mix, the mix saying. was bad, especially I, for the it at the end. Now we gotta do like, a part two to this. Now we gotta do a part two. 